Good morning, this is Vicki here on September 8th, 2016, working on my wildflowers, my purple wildflowers. I thought I'd videotape it as I'm working. I haven't found my favorite purple yet, but so I'm going to just put a little light purple on there for the flowers, the lavender. And I thought I'd highlight this stem a little so you could see maybe a little better where I'm at. I noticed when I was outside this morning that I have another flower that's bloomed. It's a purple flower. It's not a wild flower. I had bought it from the nursery, flower nursery. I was beginning to think it wasn't going to bloom at all this year. It looks somewhat like a morning glory, except that it's not a morning glory. It's a perennial, so it comes back every year. And the one plant that I planted, it comes back, when it comes back, it's been multiplying. I have the same plant on the other side of the flower bed, and it just doesn't seem to want to grow. I think it might be because it has... Um, an intrusive weed there which I guess I'm gonna have to dig it out it's huge but it is decorative and it looks like a Florida plant so I um, haven't taken it out it is very um, hard to get out it looks kinda of like a palm type plant but it um the leaves kind of have like, almost like wire in them, so they're hard to cut. But I think that's going to be um, one of my fall things to do is um, get that plant out of there and um, make room some for some bulbs. I like bulbs. Um, their flowers are just beautiful. But I've always been kind of scared to plant them and take care of them because they can rot in the ground and you really should prepare the dirt for that type of plant. You can't feel, feel the fall in the air the last few days. I'm looking forward to um, finishing this flower landscape. I'd like to get started on 
some smaller cards and for the holiday. But it will be nice to have a picture of my flowers that bloomed out there. I'm going to um, cover the flower bed with pine needles to help protect the plants that are out there in case it does get very cold. Most of the plants are good to um, like 35, 40 degrees. don't really know if it will get that cold here but I would like to be prepared because this is the first year that I have a lot of flowers out there I planted a bag of wild seed flowers a big bag and they actually did come up that's what a lot of what is in this picture along with the wild flowers that grow naturally in this area Gardening is supposed to be um, good exercise. And it's good for the mind. Seems like you should have some brushes for light colors and some brushes for dark colors. Some of them don't seem to want to rinse out of the brush and then they mix with the, the lighter color. So I'm going to try to go on to my purple here, or lavender, which I guess people call it bl a blue. I call it purple, but it's not really purple. I think. I'm 
and I would like to just use the tip of the brush like I said these flowers are like so dainty they're just really small that is the type of flower I like um, flowers with small blooms on them but if you want your flower bed to stand out you're going to have to have some larger flowers in there really have to just get the tip of the brush across the spot where you want to put the flower. If you lay it on its side it seems to be too long. It makes the flower too long. The line's too large, too thick. You want the thinnest lines and barely have to touch the paper. seem to be making a lot of progress here. 